Well, you guys have been asking about our electric ATV. You see me riding it in the background, so today we're going to tell you a little bit about it. Let's what? get started. Watch out, Bo. Did you route run over the cat? Mm -hmm. Please, please press that like button. Thanks. So this is it. This is the only time I get to ride it. Exactly. It's mine. Tell us about this thing. Well, it's electric. All I have to do is plug it in. Turn the key when you want to go. Has a rocker switch for forward and reverse. Yep. I thought you about ran over a cat. I heard it meowing in the background. It's called the E-ATV. E-ATV. It's from envodrive.com. I thought it was called my toy. It is your toy. I get No, it's not your toy. This is your work vehicle. Oh, yes. That's my work vehicle. We, yeah, bought it as a business expense. <laughs> Don't tell the IRS. I do use it, as you've been able to see, riding down behind him with the, the little action camera. But I also use it to go to the mailbox and to go to the shed and to go around the house and to go to the neighbor's house, maybe. I'll tell you, when we first started looking uh, for something like this, we'll tell you why we wanted something like this for in a minute. But when we first started looking for something like this, we, uh, we saw most of them were in the $16,000, $18,000 range. And yeah. this one was priced about seven. And so I reached out to these guys and I'm like, hey, 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 this, you know, thinking they're half priced to everybody else. You know? Right, right, yeah. And by the time we came to an arrangement, their retail price was over 10000 That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Um, I, I really think I understand why they have been raising the price on it. Um, it has more to do with their positioning for the longer term. Are you going to go in circle? You're going backwards. Can you I won't be able to go backwards long. I, I know you well enough to know that you're not very good at backing up. Hey. Don't run over the camera now. Do you like supper tonight or not? <laughs> it's got three forward speeds. Uh, too fast, faster, and, you know, jet powered. I mean, uh, it really... It, it really feels like it's it's too fast for what we're wanting it for in the low gear. So the low gear is a maximum of 16 miles per hour, and that may not sound like that's fast, but for the low gear, for a lot of things that we were wanting to use this for, we were wanting something that would be in the, you know, max speed in that gear to be six, seven, eight miles an hour, something like that, to have a good low torque to make it so it would start easy. Um, and, well, let me show you that. To make it go, the, the you twist this. It's like shifting gears on some of the nicer bicycles, and, and you just pull this. Now, the problem is, even in first gear, which I'm in now, if you pull this very aggressively, yeah. See, it's got, it's got more acceleration than you're prepared for, okay? So uh, a, a ton of torque just right there in the beginning. I mean, I can, let me get totally stopped and I pull it all the way and it almost lifts the front wheels off the ground. First gear. Yeah, that's first gear. You scared so, me. I scared everybody. The cats yeah, the all, cats ran, all went running ran. and everything else. We've got 79 miles on it at this point. So we've had it for quite some time. We told the company we weren't going to do a review until we were really ready, until we, until we felt like we understood it inside out. We see so many of these electric vehicle reviews that just, you know, they just happen so quickly. You don't really, you don't really know or you don't really get a feel for it. Now, we would have done this review quicker if we did, absolutely hated it, right? We just said not so positive things about it and moved on. But let's just cut to the chase right here. We really like this thing. It is wonderful for our business. We talked a little about that earlier. Come on over, Christy. I love it. Yeah. What you've used this thing for, well, what we had in mind to start with was that it was quiet. Right? Yes. We wanted an electric vehicle because it would be quiet and it would not interfere with the audio of what we're trying the to do. The other equipment, yeah. Right? So we wanted to be able to hear that. But we also thought it would be smooth for you know, as far as the takeoff and, and all that. 
Um, you've used this a lot of times. Oh, you used to get really upset with me when we would do stuff in the driveway, for example. Well, it's Be so long and I can't keep up walking or running. Yeah. And I was worn out at the end of a video session because a lot of times you would go all the way to the end of the driveway. And even if I'm flying the drone, our audio equipment can't keep up with you. It drops out before you get all the way to the end. So we just lost a lot of video. Yeah. So with this, I can actually be right behind you, get or beside. good or beside or wherever I want to be, really. But you could travel at the same speed, Yep. get a lot of different angles. And get good footage and audio, actually. So people said, well, why don't you use your gator for that? Well, it doesn't work very well. It's we, loud. We, we thought that we, we tried that it. We would. Yeah. And it's it's loud, for one. It's um, You it have to roll down the window and hang your head out. Well, and even then, you catch part of the gator in the, right. in the shot. And you can't magnet mount anything right here. Yeah, magnet mount, and then she puts the, uh, the little DJI camera we have right there. But typically, she actually just holds it and drives yeah, with hand one hand. Yeah, I can handheld it, yeah. And I can either sit or I can stand while I'm doing that. Right, so it gives you a little bit of rest if you if yes. you want to sit. Because you just have to stand all the time a lot of times when you're doing the video. The other thing is with the Gator is you can't have a consistent slow speed, right? There's been a lot of complaints about that. You know, you, you start no. it and it, it, you yeah, let off. You're either jerky. going or, or not. And, it, and we needed to be able to keep that consistent speed so that the camera is smoothly working. Yeah. This one's got good suspension. If you're not going too fast, you don't, you don't notice any bumps hardly at all, right? If you get to going real right. fast, they, they, they get. But it's uh, independent suspension on all four wheels. I'm wondering if we could run the tires just with a little bit less pressure, maybe, and even get it a little bit softer. I'm not sure. Let me give you some specs. The max payload, in other words, operator and anything you take along, is 440 pounds. Okay, that's. Uh, We're doing okay. Yeah, I think we can both ride. Yeah. Maybe. Sorry and, about that cheeseburger I just ate. <laughs> the max towing capacity is 770 pounds. What can I tow? We don't even have a any any you know they they talked about having a little trailer for it. I don't know if they do or not, but uh, we didn't get that. We did get this toolbox. I'll let Christy turn around so we can get to that. How about backing it up here, Christy? The reverse gear is nice and slow. Okay, that's as we'd like it. The only negative on that is it doesn't have a lot of torque in the reverse. So, so I don't really think this little toolbox is itself worth the money. This just hasn't worked out that great for us. But Christy's put some of our camera foam in here so that she can store our big camera in here. And what I think the magical part of this thing is, is these two bolts here that are actually holding the toolbox. I think we need to take this yeah. rounded toolbox off and put more of a platform on here, uh, something more specifically suited for us, or at least more general maybe, that was more like a the bed of a... But at least we can customize it. Yeah. We can and... take this off. Had we known, we wouldn't have ordered it with it. Now this seat can be folded down or it can just be taken totally off if you want to ride it without the seat at all. It, it works fine riding it without the seat. In fact, if you want to take a turn pretty fast, you better not be on the seat. You better be, better have your legs, knees bent a little bit and be, be leaning or else it'll throw you off. I spend most of my time standing. Do you? Okay. Yeah, and it just, your knees kind of, if you relax your knees, it just takes the bumps and it's totally fine. So the machine itself has a fairly low center of gravity and that's good, but by the time you put my cheeseburger ballast on it, um, it's a, a much higher center of gravity, right? I don't right? seem to have a problem with that. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the battery itself is under this platform here. Um, I don't know that it's removable and changeable in this version. I think it's going to be in the next version. So it's going to be a, a replaceable, easily field replaceable. Speaking battery. of the platform, I really like that it. it's nice and flat. I can put a cooler up here or I've put my camera bag. I've put several things up there and hauled it to the shed or different places because this is nice and flat. Yep, tools, we put a lot of yeah. things on there. Cats even, uh, one of our cats will ride on that Izzy if you can believe it. rides with me. The horn does work. Thanks, that's loud. One of the headlights doesn't work and never has worked. I've not even tried to diagnose it. I don't know if it's the bulb. I don't know if the, you know, it's a wire disconnected. You know, the wire's connected on this end, but I, I haven't done any diagnosis on that. That's a get around to it. 
Yeah, I just never have got around to it. I, I mean, it's even got signal turn signals. Look at that. I rode it the other night in the dark, and the one light was fine to get from the shed to the house. Yeah, I mean, it's an LED light, so I need to get on that. I, I asked the manufacturer about that, and they said just let us know, and they'd send us one. And I just hate to ask for a bulb if that's what the not right. what the problem is. It's Max Power's 3,000 watts. It's only a two-wheel drive. It's not a four-wheel drive. Um, the battery capacity, is, it's a 60-volt system and it's 50 amp hour, so 3,000 watt hour total. Um, the dimensions, it's 65 inches long, it's 25 and a half inches wide, and 50 inches tall. I guess that's with all of this, and of course it would store in much less. It weighs 353 pounds. I didn't notice it being that heavy. I guess since it's on wheels, you can sort of roll it around. Yeah. But another thing we got it for, reason we wanted it was because we could put it on our trailer even in a small space, right? And we've hauled it multiple times. Yeah, so we could take it to a, a video site with us and we could get it up there and put it on sideways. We could even pick it up with the forks. We could do whatever we really need to do in that sense. It's great for going right down behind the TS-10 and getting good video of that. Yeah, when we did uh, the wedding, um, Dave and uh, his wife's wedding, we, um, we used this for that, and you even saw it in that video. Uh, we used it here when we shot the deuce and a half truck. We, yes. we, 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 you've seen it there. We had it uh, on the farm when we were working way back in the uh, field there. It had no problem going over the corn stalks. It's got an eight inch yeah. ground clearance, and it's got a really tough bottom. So I'm not worried about uh, skidding it on something. Um, yeah, I had it down in that riverbed when it was dry and I didn't have any problem. Now I want to give you a little bit of feel for the torque. It doesn't give a specific torque statement here about how much torque it's got, but, okay. but I, I, I've shown you a little bit here, right, just in, in the first gear about how fast it takes off, but let's go down to the road and I actually want to show coming out of that road ditch and just, just to kind of get a feel for what it can do and what it can't do. I have not taken it through the road ditch because we have a driveway. Just saying. Okay, I think this uh, road ditch here is somewhere in the 35 degree, 30 to 35 degree slope range. But this is kind of the worst of all worlds. I've stopped with my rear wheels right in the bottom of this ditch. I'm in the first gear and I'm gonna try to take off slowly. In other words, this is kind of worst case for everything. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but you can actually hear gears slipping. It, it, just, it just can't do it, right? Uh, it sounds like gear slipping. I don't know what, what it really is. Okay, now if I'll just rock it a little bit. Or maybe, now backwards I don't have anything, right? See, so I'm trying to back out full throttle now, not anything. Now I was able, if I can get it up like this, n now I'll be able to get it up out of there, right? So it's got some power but you can't stop right in the middle of that. You wanted to see that again, didn't you, Christy? You smiled at that. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it, but you can. You're not gonna do this? Oh, come on, I wanna see you try it. You need to do this because our viewers need to just, need to be able to see the versatility of this vehicle. They'll live without it. Okay, viewers, wouldn't it be better if Christy actually showed you how, how to navigate that? I thought so. Uh, I hate peer pressure. Is speed all you need or do you need courage too? Uh, I don't know. If I hit it too fast, I don't want it to throw me off. Okay, that was fine, I'll do it again. You see, this is the way it is. She says she hates peer pressure. She says she hates that. And then she says, fine, I'll do it again. I want you to go as fast as you can. I don't know. Do whatever okay, you want. Okay, see if I am really timid, if I can still make it up. Well, that wasn't very timid. Oh. See if it'll pull you if you're totally stopped with the rear wheels in the bottom. Okay. It may be just because I'm so uh, cheeseburger laden. See, it'll pull you out, so. Yeah, you're just cheeseburger laden. So that, that kind of shows the, the limits right there, right? So yeah. somewhere between Christie's weight and my weight is what is capable of pulling up out of that. 
area. Now, we really haven't seen this as a problem in any no. of the situations we've been in. We're not trying to use this as some sort of an off-road, you know, crazy vehicle, right? We're just trying to use it to catch video. We better get out of the street before we get ran over. Yep. Which gear are you in? That was second gear. That was second gear. Yeah. I could still I could still see you going by. <laughs> okay. okay. Go down and try it in third gear. Third gear. And see if the speedometer reads out anything. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so we may have not got it to go fast, but it will go fast. That was as fast as I would get it to go. But it's not reading, the miles per hour is not reading correctly. So. Yeah, I noticed that. The speedometer is uh, kind of going uh, wonkers here. It's, yeah. Um, it, when it came to us, it was in uh, metric units, um, and there's no obvious way to switch that. There was no manual came with it. You know, there's no metric on the moon. Right, no metric on the moon, according to Dave. And there's no SAE or no English measurements here. Well, it turns out after several calls and several emails, they told us how to switch that. Um, now we have 81 miles on it. So? You're gonna ask about battery life. The truth is we don't know. The battery gauge that goes between empty and full doesn't, well, it didn't work quite properly. It would get down to about half and then it would immediately say that it was empty. What we didn't realize was that the battery wasn't dead at that point. Um, the gauge was misleading. So we were charging up. I mean, we were quite disappointed. We're like, oh, this is awful. You know, it's only running just a couple of hours and then it gets to half and then it's, it's done. Well, yeah. uh, we decided just to let it go, right? And just to keep running it. <laughs> And we kept running it. Kept running kept it and running kept it. running it. Now, what we have noticed is there's a volt meter here and it starts out when it's totally full at about 64 volts. I can run it all the way down to 55 and it's still got enough power to take us around. So I don't know that I've ever ran it until it won't go. No, we've never had to, to go get it from someplace and pull it home or anything. No. We don't have to charge it every night either. Oh shoot, you know, we've charged it four or five times total, right? Yeah. In the in the six months that we've had, had it and it's 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 just not an issue. We thought it was an issue, but then we realized that that was a, a gauge issue. Now, we did not pay full price for this thing. Um, we paid for it, we, we didn't get it for free. Uh, we did pay what I would consider a significant amount of money for it. Yeah. Um, in exchange for this review. So I wanna be fully open on that, but um, we did not pay full price. Uh, I'd like to say we paid their cost or something, but it's that's even hard to say because they built so few of these that I think the, the individual cost per unit is still pretty high, right? Oh, so getting yeah. back to their pricing, I think that's why this thing is priced so high at this point. I think they're they're wanting a few of them out there for test purposes and so they can learn. Um, but they're, they're not really wanting them mass, mass produced. Um, rather, they're, they're focusing more on their next generation. It's called the UPT, the, the Universal Personal Transport. Okay? Universal Personal Transport. Yeah, and it's four wheel drive, and it's a little more modular yet than this one. It, it, we'll show you some photos here, but it, the, the base unit is, is flat, right? It's got this concept of this flat platform and then the steering uh, pedestal is a little off to the side. Um, Interesting. It has then a, a bunch of different options for how they build it up and out. Um, it even has a cab. You know, it has cab option, it has fenders option, it has, you can, don't can want we... a cab. That's but gonna I be could exactly go the... get the mail in the snow. You can do that by walking, young lady. I'm not young, that's the problem. Oh, so you've got a whole bunch of different options that they're planning. They, they, they're wanting to be able to make them specific or I should say make the platform general so that they can be customized to specific new needs. Like um, maybe- Somebody said a, rescue, mountain rescue, narrow yeah. hiking trails and somebody falls. It's hard to carry a person out, but with this, 
something like this, you could go up those narrow trails, they could have a stretcher on the back and bring someone down with a machine instead of... So they have a whole bunch them. of different potential markets that they're, they're aiming for with this item. For us, it works great for camera holding. I suspect very few of you have the same needs that we do, but, but uh, this is one of those unique vehicles that has worked very well. We think it's improved our video. Um, and to that, we'd appreciate your comments below. Do you, do you like the, the video shots that we've included? With, with this vehicle and, and do, you, do you think it was worth it for us? Um, we do and this is part of what we go to to try to make, make a little better video than what we otherwise would. It's, we're not the kind of folks that just want to set a video on the tripod and shoot the whole thing from, from one end no. um, and put music behind it and, and call it good. I like using this, I like flying the drone, I like different angles. Yeah. And, Mix it up. And hopefully it shows up in the quality of our content. If you have any other questions about this, we don't get anything out of it, whether you buy it or whether you don't or whether you rent it or borrow it or anything else, it's, it's nothing to us at this point. Um, so we'll be as honest and transparent and straightforward as we can about it, at, like we would any other way. Anyway, that's the way we do business. Uh, <laughs> but let us know if it's something that you particularly have an interest in. We'll, you know, maybe you could even come by and try it here. That's, that'd be fine with us. It's, it's a fascinating vehicle. We really like it. Again, invodrive.com. They have a bunch of other electric um, bicycles and tricycles and yeah. We have we have all of these companies trying to send us electric bikes yeah, and we... so far we've turned all of those down. Uh, but since this particular vehicle works so well, I might be open to trying a, a bike from Envo Drive. We'll see, we'll see what they say about that, but uh, pretty impressed. Anything else, Christy? I think it would fit between two cars almost, depending on how big your garage is. We have a three car garage and it fits great because we have space for it, a spot for it, but. Yeah, I think it might. If, you're, if your two car garage was a little bit wider than normal, you yeah. for certain could put this uh, between your cars um, the track width and everything is all specified there on the website well i think that's it for now thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time on tractor, tractor time, time with tim sing to god sing in praise of his name extol him who rides on the clouds rejoice before him his name is the lord this is one of those vehicles that i've not had stuck although i did just about kill myself on it going over that dirt hump over there you went over the dirt the hump I have to have a lot of insurance on you. <laughs>